Hey everybody and welcome, uh, Steve from Open Bomb. In today's video, we're going to take a look at, at controlling the properties that come from Autodesk Fusion 360 into Open Bomb. It's gonna be a little more details in this video, so, um, so let's go ahead and get started. It's important to realize that to do this best um, is to do this before you start building bombs in Open Bomb. So I've, in, I've just installed the add-in from the Autodesk App Store. I've gone through the other videos and configured my settings and, and signed in and done, done those things. So, but before I press the bomb button, I'm going to um, con, I'm going to set up or configure the templates that control how properties flow from a Fusion to Open Bomb. I do that here in the settings. So there are three templates. The drawing template we're going to deal with in another video. That's how you control what shows up on the face of a drawing. But these other two templates are important, the bomb template and the catalog template. They control how the properties flow um, to open bomb. And to, to uh, manage those, we're going to use the template manager. And we can see that the default behavior has you know, all the properties flowing, flowing through. In, in our example today, I, I don't need all of those properties. So I'm going to create a couple of templates to uh, reduce those down. My first one's going to be a bomb template. I'm gonna call it bomb four. And I'm going to just start removing, you know, essentially all of the, the default properties. Um, I'm going to keep part no number, thumbnail, and quantity. Those are very important. So you'll, you'll certainly want to keep those. And in, ele in electronics use cases, there may be some other properties that we wanna have, but that's typically part number, thumbnail, and quantity. Keep those for, for your bomb your bomb uh, template. Now for the, the cat to create a catalog template again we're going to visit the catalog uh, the template manager create a new template in this case I'm going to call it cat four and in this one I'm going to remove the, those other properties that I don't want to show up in open bomb and you know, I might need length and width and height but I'm going to remove some of the uh, properties to do with area and density mass and volume I do want to keep my material. I'm not storing anything in A360, so I'm going to remove those. And the rest of these need to remain, even those over here, part number, thumb, thumbnail, and quantity that you had in the, in the other one. So do it just like this, and, uh, and, and you'll be fine. And then finally, I'm going to set my bomb template to be a bomb four that we just created, and my catalog template to be, uh, I'm sorry, the cat, cat four that we just created. Okay, let's save our settings and build our build material. Again, keep in mind that this, uh, that this bomb or any others that use these properties don't yet exist in Open Bomb. So this is done best done right when you first install the add-in. It's easy to modify. In another video, I'll deal with how we modify, add, or remove existing properties from those templates. But for now, as you can see, uh, Open Bomb is building that build material, grabbing those, um, those images, building the bomb, and we end up with a, with a nice build material that has just those properties that we're interested in. So I hope you find this uh, useful. We always love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.